Hello everyone, welcome to the Sleep Play YouTube channel. My name is Ozzy, I'm the respiratory therapist with sleepplay.com. In this video, we're gonna be going over a few tips on fitting a CPAP mask. First, you need to know what your goal is when you're trying to fit a CPAP mask. When you're trying to fit a CPAP mask, you're actually looking for three main things. First, you're gonna be looking for adequate therapy, making sure that the mask gives you an adequate therapy. Second, you're gonna make sure that the mask is comfortable so that you can be able to use it. Third, you're gonna make sure that the mask is the proper size so that it seals properly. You might be thinking, what do I mean by adequate therapy? Now, adequate therapy is that you're getting the full therapy from the, the, the machine, the prescribed therapy. Your mask is a very key point to this because if you have an improper mask, you're not gonna have adequate therapy. What I mean by an improper mask is if you're a mouth breather and you're using just a nasal mask, that's not gonna provide the adequate therapy for you because you're gonna have a lot of air coming out of your mouth when you open your mouth. To get the adequate therapy, you need to make sure that you have adequate pressure. Now to get that pressure, you need to make sure you have a mask that's gonna seal completely. If you have a nasal mask and you're, and you're breathing through your mouth, the pressure starts coming out of your mouth. Thus, your airway starts collapsing. And when your airway is collapsing, you're, you're having your apneas again. So you're not correcting all of them. You might be correcting some, you won't lose 100% therapy, but you might lose 60 to 70% therapy. And if you're gonna be wearing a mask, you might as well get the full benefit of the therapy. When the pressure is let out because you open your mouth, a series of things happen. Not just that the apneas the apne start coming back, you, you'll start noticing dryness. You have a very dry throat, dry mouth, or you might even wake up in the morning with your sinuses on overdrive. And this is due to the, the, the dryness of that continuous airflow going in through your nose and coming out of your mouth. You'll be waking up with a really sore throat, your, your tongue will feel like a sandpaper, or your sinuses will be just on overdrive completely. So this is something that you gotta make sure, that's why you gotta have adequate therapy. You gotta have the right mask fit on so that you get the proper therapy. You might say that the dryness is okay and you can deal with it. You just don't want something to cover your full face. Now, I'm, when I say a full face mask, I'm not talking about a total face mask that covers your entire face. A full face mask covers your nose and mouth. Some patients don't wanna use the mask because they're thinking that it's gonna cover their entire face. Dealing with the dryness is not just saying, I'll, I'll live with it. Dealing with the dryness is making sure you're getting proper humidification and that you have a proper mask seal. Why? Because that dryness can create other oral health issues throughout time. Another thing that happens when you're breathing through your mouth on a nasal mask is the noise level goes through the roof. So that's not just bad for you, that's bad for your bed partner because you're gonna keep on waking them up and they're not gonna get a good night's sleep either. So that's gonna be double the trouble. Choosing the right type of mask, whether it be nasal pillow, nasal cradle, full face, or nasal mask with a, with a chin strap, that's a very important thing to make sure you get adequate therapy. Comfort is the second main thing you're looking for. Now, reality is, if it's not comfortable, you're not gonna use it. You might tolerate it one or two nights, and then you're gonna, just not gonna wanna use it. So you wanna make sure that you get a mask that's comfortable for you. Choosing a comfortable mask is not just looking at what's on the shelf and saying, that's the one I want because it looks good. A mask can be the Ferrari of masks. It could look like a Ferrari, but when you put it on, it's not even a Pinto. You wanna make sure that you get a mask that when you put it on, if you can at least tolerate it, you feel somewhat comfortable. You're not looking right now, when you're beginning your therapy, you're not looking for 100% comfort. Because if you look for 100% comfort, all you're gonna do is keep on jumping from one mask to another, to another, to another, and sometimes having too many choices is bad because you're always trying to look for the next best thing. You're never giving your mask a chance to fit you properly. To give your mask a chance to fit properly, to make sure it's comfortable, this is not using your mask one or two nights, one hour, two hours, three hours. No, you wanna try for multiple nights to use it as much as possible. So that little by little, you can get used to the mask. Think of getting a brand new pair of shoes. When you put on a brand new pair of shoes, the first time you use them, you might have sore feet, you might even get some blisters. But as time goes and you go wearing in the shoes, you, they become the most comfortable shoes you have. Your mask is something similar. In the beginning, there's gonna be things that bother you. It might even create a blister or two. You have to, I'm, I'm not saying that that's a good thing, but it's something that sometimes you have to go through. It's a hurdle you have to jump to be able to make sure that the mask fits you comfortably. Now, the last thing you're looking for when you're fitting your mask is of course, proper fitment. So you wanna make sure you have proper fitment for a good seal. 
This is different from the proper mask because proper mask is the type of mask. Proper fitment is once you have the right mask for you, once you choose either a full face or a nasal, making sure that that mask fits you properly. Not having the proper fitting mask the right size, what's gonna happen? The mask is gonna leak all over the place. Creating you not having the adequate therapy, too much noise level, and it's just gonna wake you up because it keeps on bothering and blowing air in your face. So that's why you wanna make sure that that mask fits properly so you get that proper seal. For those of you that a proper fitting is not possible, you're, you might be ordering your mask online and you, you're thinking, how do I know what, ma what size mask to choose? There are some fitting guides that you can download off online, but I'm gonna give you one even better. You can head on over to sleepplay.com. Under the mask section, you're gonna see fit packs. You're gonna go into the fit packs and we have a variety of fit packs that you can, that you can purchase. These fit packs come with a variety of sizes inside. It comes with all the sizes for that particular mask. And this will help you be able to fit yourself better because you want to make sure that your mask is not leaking all over the place, but you also want to make sure it's comfortable. So you don't want to get the improper size that you're going to have issues with. Thank you for watching this video. If you feel that I've missed something or you have a comment, please comment down below. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. My name is Ozzy. Until next time.